Hey! We Live Small is an ongoing experiment launched by my partner, who is interior architect slash designer of environments, and myself as a product designer. In 2016, we bought our little studio, a small living space of 28 square meters in the heart of Brussels, Belgium. Living Small was an ideal decision we made together. Our basic philosophy was downsizing without downgrading. We developed products and tools to make living in a small space possible without losing 21st century comfort in the process. Living small is possible thanks to the emergence of the commons in the cities. We have moved some of the functions of our home into shared spaces. Facilities of the city are an extension of our living space. For example, we use the facilities of the city as living room, as workshop and as garden. In this initial plan, there was only one built-in cupboard for the entire studio. We soon realized that this storage space was the first challenge. The current dimensional standard had to be questioned to make it work in the room. Our home is our place to test our designs. We have observed that the unity of furniture is very important to avoid the impression that the space is too crowded and thus too small. Here are some samples of the selected standard materials, easily to be reworked in Fab Labs, and some industry standard biparts. Every square meter counts, and on top of that, we wanted an uh, adaptive space. The result is a configurable wall that evolves with usage. The base of our wall are C profiles assembled horizontally and vertically, forming a grid to accommodate our construction elements. You can observe here in detail the constructive elements fabricated in our fab lab called Imal. The cladding is an assembly of panels fixed by brackets to the C-rails. The space between the panels allows to accommodate the carriers that support our storage boxes with the help of specially designed box edges. Actually, everything started with the design of these box edges. The edges not only stiffen the plastic box, it also acts as an interface to hang them up. We choose these boxes as our primary storage system instead of conventional leg-based furniture. we chosen the 17 and 30 liter boxes of the Alibear brand. These boxes are transparent, stackable and nestable. The final shape of the edges is the common denominator of the rims of the two sizes of boxes. The box edges consist of 16 pieces of which five different shapes. One of these five shapes is this corner. The parts were designed so that they can be manufactured on the three main FabLab machines. On the laser machine, several layers of material are cut and then stacked on top of each other. The 3D printer forms the part by depositing layers of plastic on top of each other. And finally, the CNC milling machine works by removing material with cutting bits. Here you can see the configuration in more detail. You can see our constructive elements configured together. Please note that one carrier supports two box edges and that the bracket holds the corner of four different panels. Seen from a distance, you can see the storage principle integrated into the whole wall. We buy our food in bulk in these small white containers with transparent lid. That way, we are constantly confronted with what we have, which forces us to live more consciously. This picture illustrates perfectly that it's not clear where the interior architecture begins and where the product design ends in our wall structure. For my partner, it's a small house and for myself, it's one big product. We didn't get to this point overnight. Just the design of the box edges alone took several trials and iterations. Our fab lab is a shared workshop that is ideal for experimenting, prototyping and sharing knowledge and where we let our concepts mature. An object is often designed twice. After finding the correct dimensions, the chosen manufacturing technique influences the final shape and requires its own 
reinterpretation. It's also worth mentioning that we in WLS only use free and or open source software to generate, produce and document our designs. The whole project requires a lot of patience and passion. However, making these objects, especially in noble materials, gives us a satisfactory that cannot be bought. Little secret, the wood we use to create our box edges from is our old parquet flooring. The 3D printer is one of our favorite machines to quickly test a concept by. Here you can see the prototype to check the interface between the carriers and the C profiles. The 3D printer has the advantage that once the part is launched, it does not make you stay next to the machine. Yet our preferred use of a 3D printer is for the manufacturing of tools that help us during the manual manufacturing steps, like this drilling template. Our goal is to conceptualize even more tools of this type. The provision of open source plans is part of the transition to a more sustainable society. The source files allow the users to reclaim the production. We have to share our plans on different platforms. Our Fab Lab also has the Wikimall, which encourages us to publish our projects and share our knowledge. We are convinced that by the availability of Fab Labs, parts of the production is brought back to the city. The manufacturing of one's product make it possible to truly possess one's environment. Thank you and please subscribe.